Hello everybody, I'm Keanu Perez and today I'm going to show you Pomfret Hall. Right now we're outside, if you would go, outside, yes. if you would go straight south at Dohi Hall, as well as, um, this is Stadium Drive. Oh, stadium Drive right there. Okay. So the front of Pomfret Hall, um, up the hill are your classes, and then right behind you is Pig Theory. Okay, okay. We also have Christopher behind the camera. Uh -huh. Well, let's head on inside. It's great thing that Pomfret has been renovated quite a bit recently. Yes, we're super excited. A uh, little bit of touches, but y'all will be the first B-Wing people, the whole building open. Mm -hmm. so it's a really exciting time. Excellent, excellent. All right, let's head inside. And be sure and let us know where if you're watching. Let us know where you're watching from. We'd love like to call that out or ask us any questions at all. Helping me today, lovely Day Chanel. Hi everyone, my name is Day Chanel. I'm a grad assistant for the Living Learning Communities, and my office is located in Pomfret. I did undergrad here for four years, so if you have any student to student questions, feel free to shoot them at me. So glad to have you. Will you join us as we take the tour? Of course. Thank you, thank you. All right. Well, you mentioned uh, Pick Theory. I guess that's right. Yes. Right so here. And what would one find in the Pig Theory? Pig Theory is our barbecue late night venue. Um, this was added with the renovation, so it's really exciting if you're down the hill, Pomfret to uh, coming to get a late night, I say late night, um, right now the hours show um, like eight to 10. Um, and so it's just an it's awesome meal switch option. Place, so that'd be good. Uh, we have uh, Tyler from Little Rock and Charlotte from Central Texas. Aww. And Keegan from Keller, Texas, and Heather from Bentonville, Arkansas, right here, very local. Uh, you know, I'm looking behind you and I see that area is a pretty recently renovated area. Yes, it actually just got completed over the summer. It's our new outside patio. Super excited. Um, going to be a great study space if you want to go outside for some fresh air. And again, this is right if you're on Stadium Drive, you'll see this, the front of Pomfret. Perfect, perfect. All right, well, we have 26 people watching and Abby from Fayetteville. Yeah, yeah, Fayetteville. Just down the road. Okay. Well, let's head on in. So, yeah, it looks, I've been here for five years and it looks, it looks so different now. Want to mention the front desk? Yes, yeah, so again, coming off stadium, technically our front door, uh, you're going to come to our front desk area. Mm -hmm. You notice we have our plexiglass. Plan to do a video over this, but when you come to the desk, you'll just stand straight behind it talk to our admin assistant, Missy, or the RA working. And so this is if you have any questions, but also your mail, everyone is here for mail. We'll have mail hours posted. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a package, you would receive an email, you come to the desk to receive it. But also if you get letters, you'll notice your mailbox, okay. which is right over here. And your mailbox is affiliated with your room. How long have you been a CRE here? This will, I'm going to go into my third year as a CRE, my, uh, my fourth year at the university. My first year I worked with Greek housing. And so this is going to be my third year though at, in Pomfret. Third year in Pomfret. That's, yeah. a, that's a long time. It's <laughs> awesome. Okay. I love it here. It is. It's actually our biggest hall. Uh, do you know how many students are here? Um, we can house a little over 800 right now for the fall. We look like we're pretty at like a, um, 680 maybe, so mm -hmm. expecting a lot of students here. Yeah, it's going to be a full, full year. Um, great, well, yeah, let's keep on, keep on rolling. Uh, this way, right? Yeah, sure. Um, so again, this is our study area, and then our study area, front desk, to mm -hmm. our left is a brand new study area. Okay. So, uh, disclaimer, we're, our floors are being waxed this weekend, so you're going to notice a lot of furniture still pushed, so. Sure. You notice, of course, that you're wearing a mask, and that's sort of standard apparel now here at the University of Arkansas. Right, Chanel. Yes. <laughs> yes. So this is study space. Students study between class, late at night. We also have a print station, so you don't have to walk all the way up to the library. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have a paper you need to print or some notes, uh, you can use this computer, and it's attached to your printing money that you have. So 
And that's part of the centralized printing system. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Very nice. And this is all new as in the last year, I believe. The last yes. two years, maybe. This last year was the first year we were able to use this space. Right. Well, we might point out, I guess, the space between... In fact, tell us about the buildings that make up Tom Freddy. Yes, yeah, sorry. I should have said in the beginning. So technically, we're in the A building, which is, I say, the heart of Pomfret. It's the center. Uh, at the front desk, if we were to have gone the other way than we came, that is our C wing. Um, so out here in the courtyard to my right is C wing. And then if we were to keep going straight, that is our D wing. Okay. Um, and so this courtyard out here, you'll see uh, C wing to our right, D wing to our left. C wing is three floors. And then our D wing is four floors. And they are connected to A of Pomfret. And then B is on the south side, closer to Adobe. So technically, we're in A right now, I guess. Yes. And we're going to look at B. We're going to look at some residence rooms in B during this tour. Yes. We're going to show you a B wing room, but B, C, and D rooms are completely identical. Charlotte has a question about these study spaces. Are they open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Yes. Um, never closed off in here and then we also have a classroom and another study space and then you'll see our great room so Pomfret's the one place that there's tons of space for you to sit down by yourself and do homework and um, a student at Pomfret they can go down to the creative community center actually also can they yes uh, uh, if you tune into Adohi's live tour which was yesterday mm -hmm. You'll see the creative space in Adohi. My glasses are fogging up, mass problems. <laughs> but uh, it's really exciting. Any Pomfret person can use that space. Really go look it out. If you have an instrument you want to practice, which we have a music room, but they have more practice studios. If you're in band, have a music. If you're creative, again, I really go look at that tour and you'll see how awesome that space is. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So let's I guess, head on to the laundry space. Yes. Sorry. Um, I feel like I'm taking the spotlight. Do you have anything, Jayesh? Yeah, and I'm you were a student here, or are a student even now, right? Yes, I am. I, I'm a GA here, and I want to say, like, these study rooms, I love them just because of the way, like, I always see students in them, so it gives it a homey feel. Mm -hmm. So I always feel the need, like, if you're ever tired studying in your room, to feel free to come down here and study. <laughs> what hall did you live in? So I lived in Humphreys freshman year, okay. Gregson sophomore year, and then I became an RA in the quad. I see. So you've been around a couple different ones. Yes, I have. And now I'm a GA in Pomfret. So I have lived in all of the dorms, basically. So I'm getting a few reports that it's not, that the feed isn't working, but several people are watching at the same time. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that, but uh, we're going to keep on going. Okay. Laundry room. Mm -hmm. So there's two laundry rooms. We're going to show you the C and D one, and then we'll walk by the B one. This is our laundry for C and D residents. You'll see our washers on one side, our dryers on the other side, and then we also have an ice machine. Um, so if you ever need ice, you can come down here and get some ice. For those of you who are saying maybe you can't see it, this will be archived on YouTube afterwards. So you are willing, you're perfectly fine to watch um, on YouTube afterwards, and it should be posted immediately afterwards on Facebook as well. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, laundry alert app and what it costs to do the laundry? Uh, I might need some help with this. Laundry, it's free in your tuition. You just need your own soap. Housing fees. Yes, covered in the housing yes. fees. Um, you'll just, uh, you can come down here and the app tells you when your laundry, you put it in so you can set your timer, come get it. So you can just move it to the dryer, um, again, come down here, know when your laundry's done, and take it. Perfect. Thank you. So actually, it's been a while, but as a, as a undergrad, I used the laundry app, and I always found it was very useful. Before I le left my room, I would always love to see who was utilizing the equipment, and it would tell me if it was free or not. So I highly recommend downloading Laundry Alert if you happen to want to be aware of if it's busy or not. Thank you so much. Of course. Well, where should we go next? Um, I actually, Christopher, forgive me. I want to uh -huh. take us somewhere we didn't talk about. That's okay. But I got reminded because huge recycling person, sustainability. 
and I notice are recycling, but actually we have a specific area for recycling. Take us, take us off tour for a moment. Let's do this. So we're, when we were at the front desk in Pig Theory, we're directly under it. We have an elevator right here, and this is for accessibility from our great room, which we're about to see, to the front desk, and then to Pig Theory. Um, I need to post about this, but C-Wing and D-Wing do not have an elevator. That's the biggest thing I get on moving is no elevator. I'm like, I'm sorry, the building was built before I was born, but no elevator in C and D. B-Wing, there is an elevator. Um, please tell your friends, tell your parents, tell everyone. Um, so be aware, yes, C and D do not have elevators for move in, but B does. Yes. Um, this is our recycling area, so we try to label where to recycle. Come down here, and we are at the first level of A. Perfect, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, do you want to go this way or this way? Yeah, either way, that way, That's, uh, that sounds good. Okay. We'll head up there. Um, if you were living in Sea Wing, this is also a path to the Sea Wing. Okay. So now, where where are you from, Kenna? I'm from Joshua, Texas. Mm -hmm. Very small town. Um, I went to college at Tarleton State University, West Texas. <laughs> um, I received my master's in communication studies. Mm -hmm. And then my first job was coordinator for Greek housing. Um, and that's how, that's what led me to work. To the, uh, to the dining area up there? Okay. There's that study, study space again right there. Now, who all eats here in this hall? So this is our dining hall. Um, some people call it Pomfreteria. Um, it's open to anyone with a meal plan and even the public. Uh, well, also, um, this was pre-COVID, so again, um, don't know the details yet, but um, if you have a meal plan or even you know you can pay for any dining, um, open in the day. Say Chanel, I would see her a lot too in here. Uh, our lunch hours were usually quiet because most students were up the hill. Uh, so it's a great place if you want some peace or a quick meal. And then dinner kind of tends to be a little busier because of Adohi and Pontford students, but still like never crazy, really fun to see people. And I think if I'm, if I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the only place on campus where you can get like your ice cream scoop. Yes. They make the pizza for us. Wait, 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 this is very important. Let's talk about this. Oh, but you get so you. what is it? So basically, they have like an ice cream station mm -hmm. and they have like the flavors you can get your ice cream like freshly scooped. You, they can, you can get like um, stir fried freshly made. Mm -hmm. You can get your pizza like made to order. I think it's amazing. Like I eat here every day. I was just telling him about how I miss it. So if you do live in Pomfret, I highly recommend coming down the hill for your food because it's, it's mm -hmm. great. Nice and fresh scooped ice cream. <laughs> Very good. Um, some more salad bars in there as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else do we have? Oh, and their desserts. Phenomenal. The red velvet cake, highly recommend it when you do come here. I think, that, I think that's all I've tried, to be honest. But everything in there tastes amazing. Perfect. All right. Well, let's head down into the great room then. And actually, I'll, I'll give a view right now of the great room. And that is a very, very great room. It's very big. It's very big. We forget new stairs too. Yeah. Uh, so the dining hall, we're, we're still in A building. We're like on the second floor. So now we're coming back down. Again, floors are being waxed, so you see all our furniture is kind of everywhere. Yes. This is our great room. Um, again, a great room. It connects B, C, and D. Um, 
When I tell students to come see me or meet me, I say like the Harry Potter staircase. My office is right under the stairs. We just walk. <laughs> so you live under the stairs? Yes. Yeah, so, so if you're ever looking for me, if I'm not in there, I might be in a meeting, but that's my office. We have a kitchen. Yeah. Let's dip in there for a second. And so residents can cook their own meals here. Yes, and these are micro ovens, so they can microwave, but also bake. We have a Keurig. Vending machines. Vending machines, and they do wireless vending. Uh, fridge, and then your ice cream. I guess that's a fridge where you would want to label your stuff, right? This is our TV room, um, big TV. And so this was another just lobby social space students could come. And it's connected to our kitchen, again, in the great room. Perfect. It is a smart TV, so I loved in the day. I either saw Smash Bros games, someone brought down their Switch, or um, Netflix, log into your account, and people watching whatever series is popular at the time. What are you watching these days? Me? Uh-huh. What's my last Netflix show? <laughs> uh, I don't mean to put you on the spot, just curious. I don't know. I've been Wait, watching... Are you watching anything? Why? Been... Something from Hulu. Hulu? Uh-huh. What are you watching on Hulu? I'm watching right now How I Met Your Mother. Really? How I Met Your Mother. That show. Movie. Crazy. I think it's great, but I'm late to the party. I also used to watch Friends a lot on Netflix before they removed it, so. Sure, sure. I just watched a show called Shrill on uh, Hulu. It's kind of fun. All right. So this is a music room, I guess? Yes, music room. Um, we have a piano, but I've seen people with guitars come down here, play um, door shuts, uh, another space residents use. I love when I'm at office, I usually hear People play like modern songs, but on the piano, it's like so cool. Very cool indeed. Anything else to see here in uh, Adohi? Uh, I'm sorry, in, in Palm for Day? Um, no, if we, there's public bathrooms, which y'all see, there's um, refillable drink stations, which are really popular in the mm -hmm. halls. So that's just right over there. So if you're doing homework out here, you're like, I need to use the restroom, there's just one right there, um, and also a, a refillable drink station. Sure. Anything I'm forgetting? So Heather's telling us she's, we need to, um, we're s the, uh, the, the sound is just a little bit okay. off. And yes. So we'll, we'll I've been practicing my math talk. I did one video earlier in the summer and you could not hear me at all. They couldn't use it. I felt so bad. <laughs> <laughs> there, there really is an art to speaking with a mask that's a little bit different that we're all kind of learning as we go. All right. We're passing our service center as a student. You really won't utilize this unless maybe you're lost. Some people mistake this as our front desk. Service center is our housing's 24 hour line. So really it's more for internal purposes. Um, but again, they're really helpful. Students usually like, where's the Pomfret front desk? And they'll direct you over there. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's what I also love about Pomfret. We office so many people. We have service center. We have Dave Chanel and her peer ambassadors. And then down here, you're gonna see facilities. And if we were to go outside, um, the conduct office also offices in Pomfret B-Wing, but you have to enter from the exterior. Okay. There's a lot of people here. What floor are we gonna go up to on uh, Pomfret B-Tower? We're gonna go to the seventh floor. There's eight floors, however, in B-Wing, but the first floor is non-residential. This is our first floor. And B-Wing was closed to residents last fall and spring as we did renovation. Yes, so this has been closed for a year and really excited that it's now open. You're about to see it, it's beautiful. Um, I just wanted to point this out. These are water refill stations you'll see around. Do you have your own water bottle? I do, I have too many. That's where my sink is. Do you have your own water bottle? Yes, yes. and a mason jar and everything I can possibly have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's head on in. Uh, so this is the entrance to B-Wing. Oh, we didn't show it, but B, C, and D, you'll have to fob in. And so you'll have your key. 
and this is uh, your fob, and so like this little box out here, there's one outside each wing, mm -hmm. and so for security purposes, we would fob, fob into these doors. So um, because of the dining hall, every w residential wing um, has this lock. Uh, so that's how we enter. For B wing, your laundry is on the first floor, right over here. Very similar to what we just saw over there. Uh, We've gotten a question before about ice. And of course, there's an ice machine right there. Yes. All the ice you can want. Yes. This is new, so nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll head on up. And just for those watching, you may lose the feed briefly while we're in the elevator. And I, f I feel like the elevator feels pretty fast compared to some of our other elevators. Really? <laughs> yeah. What are you most excited about with the coming fall and the new um, students? B-Wing open. So my first year, B-Wing was open, but heavy construction. Mm -hmm. We had none, none of these fun spaces. And then last year, B-Wing was closed. So this is my first year here with the whole building open, so I'm really excited. What are you most excited about this fall? I think I'm most excited about seeing the pair ambassadors again and just hanging out with my friends again and just getting things back in like a, just a, a schedule at mm -hmm. least, you know? You mentioned LLCs. What is an LLC? So that's the living learning community. So basically it's people who have the same major or shared interest. They live in the same community or floor. And then the pair ambassadors, they plan events for them with a coordinator, just events that they think will interest them, engage them in the things that they want to hear about. And then they just mingle and just be able to study with their peers. We got a question from Tori who asks, will we be going into D, the D wing rooms? We won't, but correct me if I'm wrong here, but basically they all look alike now, yes. except for the accent wall color maybe. Yes. But they're all basically the same. Yes. Um, Let's see a room. Let's go on in there. Let's look at a bathroom too, just to get a sense of what that is. Um, I what think we it? talked about the one over here. Okay, bathroom first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do that. We go in depth, we show you bathrooms. <laughs> Water station. Housing. So this is a B-Wing bathroom. I will say C and D's, this is the only difference. So B-Wing, you're gonna see it's a huge bathroom. You can enter from both sides. You'll see the restroom, the sink. And then this side is our showers. You'll see there's a spot you enter and it's, you know, change it already and there's the actual shower piece. Mm -hmm. Um, in C and D, it's not, um, you cannot enter from both sides, and so it's just four smaller ones. Um, but bathrooms, of course, there's not going to be males or females around that specific bathroom. Like, if this is a, well, this whole floor is female, so both of these will be females, but we only have three co-ed floors, but there never will be a male or female. The bathrooms are gendered. Yes. Okay. Um, Let's go ahead and step out of the bathroom for a minute. Mackenzie asks, Mackenzie asks, if you live in B-Wing, can you get into the other wings or does someone from that wing have to let you in? Cross-wing travel. Yes, um, your FOB is for your specific wing. Um, so for like security, you can get into Pomfret and then for B, but we ask for C and D, the same policy of like, if you're from B, whoever you're visiting in C and D to come escort you as a guest. Okay. So yes, if you're in B and you want someone from C to come visit, you got to let them in. Yes. Okay. And then Heather asks, will we be able to, s will we be able to see a middle in room? And I'd say, why don't we just go ahead and start with the middle in room? Okay. That's down there, I believe. So this is going to be a majority of not your rooms, just so. Yes, this is the non-standard, but we're happy to show it to you, Heather. Um, 
I've been getting a few emails, so just for clarification, there's this end room, which is very different than the uh, no other rooms because it's at the end. And then the corner rooms are if you're on the corners, and those corner rooms are going to look the same as the other rooms. Okay. Um, just for some clarification. So there's no corner room difference, but there is a middle end room kind of difference, right? Yes. Okay. Let's, let's give a, a view of this quick room. same as all the other rooms it might be a, like a foot bigger mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there we are Karen does ask, what is the window measurements in the center and room? So if you could help me remember to, before we sign off, go into the center and room again and get the uh, window measurement there. That room? Yeah, just before, before, we can do some measurements in here first. Oh. Well, let's go ahead and knock it out. Let's go ahead and knock it out now. Okay. Okay, and you have tape measure the tape measure helper maybe <laughs> about 49 about 49 inches go ahead and give him the depth as well if you don't mind Twenty-sixth and one quarter inches depth. Okay. Height as well. If you can get it, that'd be great. You might need a assistant there. Fifty-two inches height. Sixty. I'm sorry. Sixty-two. Sixty-two inches height for you, Karen. Tori asks, are the beds twin or twin XL? I'd have to refer to that sheet, but I think they are, I think on general beds, they're two different sizes. Is that right? Yes. Um, we have a door side and a window side. Is yes. that right? Um, but for in here. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll check in here. They might be slightly different in this particular room. was this bed right here that we just measured? Did you say 76? Sorry, it's confusing. It's okay. Yes. Uh, so this was 36 inches wide, 75 inches long. Okay. And this was 36 inches wide, 80 inches long. I think this was a shorter one. Um, okay. Our website lists the bed sizes and then I know this room's a little different with the windows. I've actually emailed it, so I'll be sure to comment Okay. Um, You'll follow up with a comment yes, on this. Okay. The Pomfret Hall will post. Okay. Um, but your, I, your Pomfret Hall? Yes. Yeah. Um, again, the website's really helpful in that it lists the dimensions of the mattress and the bed frame, um, as well as the room. And then you're going to notice um, the wall color is not the same. For B Wing, it's not the same on every floor. C and D, it's different for Wing. And so on our website, it lists what color your accent wall will be. And uh, Carousel asks, um, 
is that the same measurement in the corner room too, and I think we're talking about here um, the window ledge. So we'll go over and go into one of the other rooms now where it's a little more typical. Yes. Um, Heather asks, where is the TV cable and other plugs? You know, in this room, it's right here. That's the TV cable right there. But we'll show you where it is in the other ones. Can you show the closets in the middle room? Sure, sure. We'll get that really quick for you, Lula. The closets are in wardrobes here. So it's a wardrobe like that. Would you mind opening it up? There we go, that's the wardrobe. And Heather asked, can the beds be lowered? Yes, they can all be lowered. They're pretty lofted right now, but they can be lowered very easily. We do suggest you bring a rubber mallet if you wanna do it yourself. Okay, let's head into, I guess, 706, B706. Okay. All right, well, so here's a bed. Um, Charlotte asks, can you move all the furniture around? And currently, that's all movable furniture. I don't think that was always the case. No, with the remodel, now every room has, you can move this around. Mm -hmm. all, all furniture in the rooms in, in Palm Frit are movable now. Okay. Well, is there, are there any dimensions people would like? Maybe we can, actually, we can measure that window. That's a pretty long one, pretty big one. Hundred and eleven um, and three quarters inches is the length of that ledge. Um, we've got a few more questions coming in. And Keegan asks, do we have to here I'll get it we'll get to that window? Oh, can you move it to the left of the window? It, the light behind you means I can't see. You're too brilliant. Oh. If you could if you could move a little over that way. Oh me. Yeah. Because when I when I frame you up behind the window, you're so illuminated. Um, Okay, so Keegan asks, do we have to do a fix-it request to loft or lower beds? You don't have to, but I recommend it, because you can even put that in now, and maintenance will take care of it by the time you get here. However, if you want to, you can do it yourself. It's fairly easy. You just need about two people, and you hammer away. I would say it takes you less than 10 minutes if you have two people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. You can do it yourself, or you can turn in a fix-it request. Um, um, I think we would preference to fix it if you already know just don't move in we have limited mallets we check out so if you're trying to fix a room and we only have they're all checked out and then some of the beds they're so new it's very difficult for if it's your first time trying to do it um and so our maintenance guys some of them know you know they do this a lot um so submit those work requests now if you know so that they can get it done in time for when you move in margaret asked my son is in b326 does he have a wardrobe as well or open closets? Um, exactly like this furniture. He'll have a wardrobe um, and everything else you'll see in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Leela asked us, can you measure the top of the desk, please? Thirty-five and seven eighths, so basically thirty-six inches. And then, uh, do you want to give the other dimension? It's about like I said, three feet. Okay. About three yes. feet. Twenty-four and three quarters. Twenty-four and three quarters in that direction as well. And then, Carousel asks, are the rooms in all the wings the same measurement size, measurement wise? besides the end room. Yes. And really the rooms and all those, there might be some slight variations, but for the most part, they're very, very similar. Um, and then, 
Markel asks, how do we send a fix-it request? And you can just use the website uh, or the, uh, the link housing.uark.edu forward slash fixit will get you there. You can also go to the housing website and go under uh, services and you'll find about midway down the page fix it and how to submit a sub fix it request there. Um, Margaret Ferris asks, how far from the floor to the bottom of the bed? And keep in mind these beds can be changed um, in three inch increments. But right now, this one, do you mind giving us a measurement on that one? Yeah. I'm not skilled at this, y'all. You're doing, you're doing great. Um, should I do this bar or this top? You'll see that there's like this, the black bar. So to that, it's almost 24. But to the, up here, the bed, about 29 inches. And then Tori asks, what are the dimensions for between the two closets above the drawers where a TV would go? These. Uh-huh. What are the dimensions for in between the two closets? Yeah. And above the drawers. So like, yeah, that space basically. How big of a TV can we fit in there? 83. 83 inches? Um, and again, these can move. Mm -hmm. But they pretty much are as far apart as they would go in the room right now, it looks yes. like. Okay, okay. We've got a couple more questions coming in. Well, that's, that's what we've got right now. Um, we can mention that this is the cable box right here, and you have HBO through your housing fees, as well as you know digital cable of all sorts. Yes, a lot of channels. A lot of channels. Um, Abby asks, are the dimensions of all the furniture and the room sizes on the site? And yes, they are on the university housing site. Not the move-in site, but the university housing site. And they'll be, um, they're listed there with quite a bit of information. Uh, what dimensions are they asking? Oh, uh, asking if dimensions were available okay. for all the furniture. Yeah. If you go to our palm trip, web page on housing, it lists all this, and then again, the, the accent wall colors of each floor. Great, well, it looks like that's uh, the questions that we've gotten so far, and they have been great questions. Thank you for asking them. Um, any parting, oh, let's see. Abby asks, can you use cable or HBO only available if you bring a TV, or can you use a laptop? Uh, isn't there a Cox app? that you can use to watch remotely? There used, last year there was, mm -hmm. um, this not year the Vex Cox person, but Cox is our channel. Mm -hmm. um, and there was an app and they, they'll be here, or they were here last year and they'll show you how you can log in to your computer to watch channels or what's been shown on TV. You should be able to log in through your computer as well as the television. Um, we've got a couple. Last minute's coming in. Heather asks, can one bed frame be broken down and put under the other bed if you have a single room? I would say probably not. Uh, it doesn't look like the two can be broken down that way. However, you can, it can be made to take up much less space. Um, for people to have a single room, I haven't seen that, but I have seen like making this more of a couch or a day bed, um, but if you do have a single room, which means you're paying for a room by yourself, um, you can be as creative as you want. Um, both all the, you're still gonna have two sets of furniture, um, but if you're in a single room, it's free for all yours to use. Yeah, you have complete discretion on how you wanna use the furniture in your room, of course. Um, Charlotte asks, how many outlets are there in the room? I wonder if we could do a quick, Quick survey of how many outlets. There's four for the TV. Mm -hmm. And there's two up where the desks are right now. Okay. And there's a little behind. Two for each desk, it looks like. Mm -hmm. And then there's one on this window wall. Okay, okay. 
Great. If there's one under that bed there, great. I can see it. So we've got 10, I think 10 is what I'm seeing right now. 10 different outlets mm -hmm. um, in one room. My gosh. Uh, Amber asks, is there a mirror in the room? And I don't, no. okay. No, there is not a mirror in the room. Uh, Mackenzie asks, can you take the cable box off the wall if you aren't bringing a TV and want to put something there instead? Sorry, Mackenzie, we, we uh, can't allow you to do that. It doesn't take up too much space, as you see. Um, and really, those, those cords can be put behind uh, that right there, so it shouldn't take up too much space. But no, we can't, we can't have you take it off. Um, Amber asks, what is the depth of the window ledge and the height of the window? You think we can get both of those for, for Amber? About 61. 61, in 61 inches high. Um, 14 and 3 fourths. 14 and 3 fourths wide. Or depth, I guess, yeah. Great. Um, Abby asks, can I put the wardrobe at the end of my bed on the door side? It, yeah, it doesn't look like it would fit there because it would obstruct the door. But you can put it in that configuration where the wardrobe is just on the other side of the door, how it's set up now. Um, Keegan asks, are the room doors key or fob locks? Key. Mm -hmm. um, I'll I guess, thankfully, you really can't get locked out unless your roommate locks out, which does happen. You might forget they're in the bathroom and you're leaving. Um, so just communication on like, hey, I'm running to the bathroom. Or, you know, they might tell you, okay, bring your keys. Um, but it is a physical key. Angie asks, what's the length and width of the dresser? So do you mind if we get the, width, the length and width of that dresser? Okay. Well, the height too. We'll get the height, I guess. The 30. Mm -hmm. 30 inches high, and then we get the depth. So. Oh, look at this. And I, these are like two separate pieces. Oh, this mm -hmm. is so. Yeah, do you mind pulling that apart just slightly? So you can see. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Twenty-four and a half about. Twenty-four and a half, right about. Okay, great. Well, these are good questions. Glad we can give you some dimensions about the newly renovated Palm Frit B wing. Um, well, I guess we're going to be seeing these people in the fall. Yeah. That's exciting. We're on Instagram. Um, be sure to follow us. We're really excited to see y'all. As we get closer, we'll be sure to release more information on what to expect on move in. Sure. We got one last question. I'll go ahead and take it. This will be our last one. Yes. Tori asks, what is the length of the window? Actually, I think we addressed that one earlier. Mm -hmm. Didn't we measure it when we first came in? I feel like we did. I can't 100 remember. and something. Oh, it was like 111. Uh-huh. Tori, I think we did. We'll do it one more time just to make sure. Watch it. I we don't mind. One twelve and a half, one eleven, one twelve and a half, uh, right in that vicinity. Um, Amber asked about the accent walls. You can find the uh, the number of the of the color and the colors themselves on the website at housing.uart.edu. Go under halls and then find Pomfret Hall. Thank you. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and sign off now. Awesome. <laughs> I love seeing y'all. Can't wait to see y'all move in. Thank you, Chanel, for joining me. Thank you, marketing. See you guys soon. Absolutely. Okay, okay. We'll tune in for more of these shows. And if you have questions afterwards, 
leave them, leave them below and we'll do our best to answer them as we can.